Peep Love the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as Peep Love 7 on Twitter and YouTube, Peep Love Elsewhere on the Internet. And my blog is located at purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com. And I have been playing around with the idea of a partial removal. I guess that's what I'm going to call it because, well, I've never done this before and this has been a real neat effect. But, um... I found it seems to work better if there's a fresh cotton ball, fresh splash of nail polish, and a real quick um, rubbing motion that gets rid of the color but leaves the stripes, kind of like a decal type design. But in the meantime, this is what I got. Check that out. Is that cool or what? So. Oh, I missed one. So in the meantime, I don't think I'm going to put a top coat on it because the top coat, since it tends to penetrate, is probably how the black nail polish in the design got stuck to the nail in the first place. I'm thinking what I'm going to do, though, instead is take a clear nail polish that's not a top coat, just, you know, your basic clear which will come off easily with enough hard remover and put that on top of it to give it a shine and you know see how long it lasts further so there's a fresh splash of nail polish remover on this one I know by now they're at the length where they look like claws which is why I call them my claws Oddly enough, my boss, who knows everything, hasn't noticed that my nails are this length and has not asked me to trim them up. Oops, went too far. So that one, it came off completely. But there's still enough left there where you get the general gist. And if nothing else, just like people, you know, paint all their nails and then put a different design on just one nail, That'll be the one nail that has a different design, so, or, you know. Well, nope, another one has that effect. So, it primarily stayed on these nails, and it came off almost completely on this nail, and on this nail. So, interesting. So, I guess I should not be heavy-handed when I'm doing it on the right. Or if your predominant hand is your right hand, then make sure when you're, you know, using your right hand, use a gentler, lighter stroke. I used to actually be left-handed, and I am heavy-handed on the left. So that could be why. And before I get 15 inboxes saying, why aren't you left-handed anymore? I broke my wrist in seven places in the sixth grade and had to do the sixth grade over all over again just to learn how to write with my right hand because I was turning in homework via videotape and well cassette tape basically you know it's like a little voice recording where here's the question there's the answer you know speaking it out loud so that way you know they knew I was doing my homework and they knew the responses were mine but people started complaining, everybody else has to turn in written homework, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't write because I had a cast up to here and the thing that held my arm like this. So then we had to get somebody to write the words for me. And then they discovered that I did not have the coordination to continue writing with that hand. So I had to learn how to write with this hand. Which, everybody says my hand writing my right hand looks better. To me, is still looks like a foreign entity. <laughs> my left hand, my handwriting was kind of like curly Q, and with my right hand, it's kind of slanted, but serviceable. That's the only way you can say it, it's serviceable. But um, then they said, you'll never have the coordination to write with that hand again, so I am not the type of person to be deter you know, deterred by words. People say, you can't do something, and I'll go, really? Watch this. So now not only can I write both my left hand and my right hand, but I can write both at the same time. 
and with this not quite backwards, going straight across. Kind of like Ira Joe Fisher in Cincinnati, if you don't know who that is, look him up. He used to do the weather behind a plane of glass and right backwards, literally, but it came out forward to write down what the temperature was going to be, so forth and so on, and he would write rain in this area, so forth and so on. But anyway, this is what I have now. Came out kind of neat, didn't it? So, if somebody asked me what that's called, I guess I'll say funky zebra. Because <laughs> it's definitely not pink zebra anymore. And it's got a couple of funky places where apparently I rubbed too hard. But I could work this. And I know if I could just like paint a little flower or something on the ones where it went too deep or, you know. I might actually get another set of salon effects because, oh, wait a minute. I actually do have a couple of the extra colors of them. No, no, I can just put it right back on there and then lightly wipe off the pink and leave the black. There's a thought, too. I'm having fun with this idea. Anyway, this has been People 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People Elsewhere on the Internet, and y'all say bless. Bye now. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.